cold fear. Here we are. Guys, it's going to get frozen out shortly. So we're going to kick straight into it. I'll be explaining as... Whoa, we don't want to load the game. Um, I'll be explaining as I go along. Um, I think we're going to play it on hard. Because I like games to be tough. And extreme isn't available to be unlocked. So, Cold Fear is a game by a studio called Darkworks. Now, some of you might know Darkworks from their first game that they did, which was Alone in the Dark, A New Nightmare. So, this is their second game, and what's really interesting to me about this game is it was released in 2005, in March of 2005, I believe. Shot only three months less two months two and a half months after Resident Evil 4 and the game is so similar gameplay wise to Resi 4 you'll see now in a minute when we get into the game the same kind of camera angle over the shoulder what I wonder about this game is they were clearly developed you know around the same time um, and I wonder did the Dark Oak Studios team see, say, early development versions of Resi 4 and just copied it? Or were the games just, you know, a, a coincidence that they ended up looking the same? But it was fairly unfavorably reviewed and it was compared, you know, unfavorably as well to Resi 4. A lot of people thought it was just complete rip-off, complete copy. Um, and... It, to me, it's just really interesting because I like Resi 4. I like survival horror games. And uh, I picked this one up ages ago. I have actually a physical copy here in front of me. Um, and I just haven't played it till now. <laughs> I'd say I picked it up surely around 2005 or 6. Um, and I just haven't played it till now. So it's, it's nice to finally... I'm going to play through it as best as I can. Get through as much as I can. So here's our titler character. Our name is Tom Hansen, and yes, he is a relation to the Hansen brothers, <laughs> as you, as you can see, they look the exact fucking same. Um, yeah, so basically, you're on a Russian ship, and there's been a distress call regarding uh, what's gone on on the ship. Nobody really knows what the story is. That's how you pause. How do you pick up? I can't even remember. E. There we go. Classic. A note about ammo conservation. Use the butt of your rifle in close combat situations. Okay. Yeah, we can follow all that. Some of your opponents will attempt to immobilize you. Strike out at them to free yourself and shoot at point blank range. This is generally highly effective. Definitely is. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite... Um, it, it's it's quite survival horror in the camera angle, but when you go in to shoot, it's exactly like Resi 4. Even down to the laser sight on the weapon. It's madness. And it just, the game wasn't liked. It wasn't well received. It's crazy because I've played a small bit of this in the past, and I think it's really good. It's a good bit of fun. In fact, it really reminds me of, uh, recently I played Resident Evil Revelations. Resi Revelations is actually set on a boat as well, it's very similar to this. Um, so I wonder, was there kind of, you know, did Resi, the, the, the team that made Resi come back and they kind of copied it a small bit, borrowed the idea of the ship, old rusted ship, distress signal. Yeah, so this is a Russian boat as well, um, and there's been a distress signal, so a lot of the signs and stuff will be in Russian, and I believe our character Tom is uh, going to be well able to read a lot of that stuff as well. Okay, we're going to go in here and uh, I believe there is something inside. E is how you interact. Ah, uh, lovely. We're in the deck house. So yeah, the camera angles obviously when you're inside are very, very similar to like the older Resi games. Resi, Resi 1 and 2 and stuff with the kind of fixed camera angle. Now, I believe there's something in the room. Oh God. <laughs> Very scary. Absolutely not. There's some pistol ammo. That's good. I do remember when I played this, I'd say it was 2005. Yeah, I wasn't even 
I was probably about 13 or 14 years old and I did actually find this a good bit scary. Ooh, a dead body. Let's have a look. Oh, he's missing his head. Poor, poor soul. Yeah, so you can check bodies as well, which that, as far as I'm aware anyway, that hasn't been in a, a resi game thus far. And I don't know, I just think the team did a really interesting thing with the, with the kind of survival horror stuff. And you'll see now as I'm playing, you'll kind of learn more about the game. Manual is probably the most detailed video game manual I've ever seen. Space is how you run. Um, the most detailed manual I've ever seen in a video game, probably thus far in my life. Um, what I mean by that is, so for instance, you look inside the manual and old games they used to basically tell you, they'd give you a list of the characters, they'd give you a list of the enemies, and you know, nothing was left up, nothing was going to be a surprise in that case. Not only all that, it gives all the weapons that you get in the game, and it gives a map, an entire map of the ship, like, from all the decks, everything is on, is in this map, in this book, it's, it's so funny. I get a good laugh from it. Anyway, as you can see, the waves are rolling nicely, and oh, right, I need to get out of here immediately, as quickly as I fucking can. Run, 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 run. You gotta time it right. So that's kind of an example of how the ship can affect you when you're outside. Because the waves are rolling and you can actually fall off the boat as well. And I believe there will be some other kind of stuff later on in the game. Anyway, look, we're going to press on. I'm going to stop talking because I don't know much about the technical information. Okay. Let's see how much of your Russian you remember. You have to point at it, I believe. Main deck. <laughs> That's one way to solve all situations. I like Tom. I think Tom is an a, a man of action. It's unlocked. There's a load of blood there. Oh, is that a door? I've never seen that before. What does that say? Storeroom. Let's go into the storeroom. Ah, of course. Of course it's locked from the other side. Alright, okay. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I've just lost a load of health. I can see this going badly. Okay. I just can't help it. Every time I see Tom up close, I just can't help going... Hmm, bop! <laughs> Look at him, like... He's a handsome brother. So that's the story. After the handsome brothers kind of, you know, were the one-hit one, one hit wonder. Oh, I have to shoot people now. Um, yeah, after they were the one-hit wonder, one of the handsome brothers, Tom Hansen... He was like the he was he was the brother that wasn't allowed in the band. Um, so what they did was he actually became a secret agent. Yeah, shot that man in the head. He should be dead. Whoa! Is that our first death? Oh, there's gonna be a lot of those ladies and gents missing in action. Whoa! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play this on normal as hard as. Uh, Definitely a bit too hard. <laughs> this time I won't die, I promise. <laughs> Looks like I'm just gonna have to kill them all. Sad. Right, good. Okay, we'll interact with all these bodies. Oh no, I didn't want to go in here. Escape, 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 get out before anything bad happens. Yeah, check these bodies. They definitely have stuff. All burned. We'll use this valve, so. Tom, the man of action. Cool, opening a new area on the boat, so. I never really got very, very far in the game. I'd say I played maybe a quarter of it. And I wonder, do you ever get off the boat, or is the entirety of the game set on the boat? Oh. I'm not a son of a bitch. But right, in the family jewels, that poor individual, if he just... Do you know, if he just had a chat with me, he'd still be alive. Oh, their bodies move as well with the boat. Yeah, so there's that, again, that kind of extra engine that they had to write, this, this very specific engine to make the boat rock, which added so many more animations to the entire game. The leaning, you see, as you can see there. Um, they really did uh, add a lot of workload for themselves, the poor fellas. So is that just a room with a guy in it to shoot? Like, is there anything to pick up? 
suppose not. Right, we'll get out of here. Hmm. Bad stuff's going down. We'll find out together, you and I. Oh. What's this? Is it a human? It's got a kind of human face. He takes health packs straight away. Can't even pick him up. Maybe there is no inventory. It's very unusual. I shoot these. No. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's quite unusual. And it's funny that he won't uh, say anything either. He won't even interact. I have a feeling that maybe some of this game might have been rushed based on the fact that Resi 4 came out, so they were caught it. Probably got a lot of pressure from uh, Ubisoft at the time to you know get the thing out. There's somebody in there. Hopefully a friendly person. Another dead body, okay. Well, hopefully dead. Very good. Getting scared. Yeah, that's interesting. I've a, I've a big feeling that they probably implemented this shooting mechanic very late in the game. Because the game seems to take place in that kind of old resi style fixed camera angle and you can actually play the game like this you can aim as you can see around like that as well so I'd say this was very late in the day some pistol ammo Jesus it's very fucking dark isn't it? <laughs> right back to the door those rooms were useless just just nothing ammo right this lady wants to be left out okay we'll keep going yeah, look, it definitely they originally intended it to be a survival horror style fixed camera angle and uh, it just didn't work out that way for them, I don't think, because Resi 4 came out and that is when survival horror changed. A note about the armory. Smoking in the armory is strictly forbidden. All types of munitions are stored here. Who's this Anashenko? I, I hope you meet Anashenko. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh... A blood-stained palm print on a letter. Okay, let's pick up some ammo. Right, okay, so I, I assume this is just going to be a an ammo dispenser for the game. You run out of ammo, you come back here. That's, that's reasonably cool. As I was saying in the manual, it gives you a map of every single deck, and it's so detailed, it's funny. It's like nothing is left up to surprise in the game. A note about electrical boxes. Certificate of death. Cause of death. Electrocution. Unable to reach his official post, he promptly fired at the electrical control box, causing it to explode. Poor, the poor Corporal Y. <laughs> I'm also wondering how I saved the game, as there is no, um, you know, save thing. I'm going to quickly... I'm going to consult my physical manual. Save game. Here we go. Page 7. While playing, you will be told to save your game at specific points. Okay, so it's kind of similar, again, similar in vain to uh, to Resi. It's probably a kind of, there must be some type of save system like the inkwells of Resi. But we will soon find out. Okay, let's go into this room. Touches of MGS 2 to it as well, obviously being... Set on a boat. These doors surely are all locked. Yeah. Why right, should we go into the sick bay? Have a look around. I have a feeling I should save some of these med kits. Is this just a med kit dispenser then as well? When I'm feeling sick. Okay, right. Yes, so I just pretty much wasted one of them. Sad times. Okay. So, that's kind of an interesting thing. I haven't really seen that in a survival horror game. A kind of health dispenser and a ammo dispenser. Another dead body. Lockers. Poor fella. He had a bad day of it. Right, a page from Yusupov's diary. Let's have a look at that. The first 25 days drilling was successful as expected. And then, even though our sonars confirmed the presence of a huge oil reserve, the pressure started to drop. Suddenly, the drill brought up several exocells that Anashenko and his men had great difficulty in overcoming. Two days later, we noticed more specimen crawling up the platform columns. I immediately gave Anashenko's orders to capture some of them, and that's when we saw the first 
that's when I saw my first con- contamination. Okay, so yes, as well, even more, uh, even more uh, weird about this game, and how a lot of people thought that it was far too similar to Resi Four is that, like Resi Four, they changed, as we all know, from basically the T virus to a parasite. This game also has parasites basically that enter the the human body and like you know like a like a face hugger or like any any anything like that change the physical makeup of a human being and you know make this new mutated zombified thing so that's why i think this game is so interesting because it was made at the same time as uh resi 4 and it so similar in terms of look, feel and just like even the gameplay story there of parasites being brought onto a ship and it's very similar to the Lost Plagueis in Resi 4 so that's what I find it very very interesting that this game was just um, you know, brushed aside people didn't really like it at all it probably didn't have the same marketing push or you know it didn't have the name it's a new IP but I don't know it's interesting I'm also uh, I'm also interested in seeing now. Do we actually get to go to that platform that um, that that diary entry was talking about? I have a feeling we might. So that it, we actually might get off the ship, and then stuff might get a bit, you know, interesting. Not that it's uh, not that it's not interesting now. Too much water pressure, so none of these doors can be opened. Yeah, there's the water now. Moving with the uh, with the ship. Upper deck. Whoa! Jesus, that got me! <laughs> oh my god! Brilliant! I'm glad. I'm glad that got me now. <laughs> right, what's this? Fish hold. Should we look? We'll try. i got to find a handle. I vaguely remember fi- having to find that handle. Yeah, you have a resistance meter as well, which is more or less your um, your stamina in a way. As you can see, it's going down there, but it also works for when you're on a particularly shaky deck. Um, you'll need to, you know, hunker down, and his resistance goes down. And I believe if your resistance goes down to zero while you're out on a deck, you actually fall off the deck. So that's that's interesting, I think. Yeah, I believe I've been in all those. Oh, the upper deck. Yes, yes, yes. Up that stairs. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go up here and we're going to see what's behind these doors. Okay, so you use the key, like. <laughs> Opens the upper deck, which leads to the radio room and the bow. Okay. It should have said it was a key card or something. Crew quarters. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to get some uh, evil looking men up here. I'm going to have a look around, search around these hallways first. Too hot for me that way. You're too hot to handle, Tom. Tom Henson, like. What a name. The showers. The captain's quarters. Well, we'll go into the captain's quarters, though. That's oh, locked. Alright, we need the key for the captain's quarters. We'll go into that first door so that we came by the crew quarters, isn't it? Yes. Oh. So obviously one of these guys had the infection. He got shot by these two lads. And then they were just hunkering up here. Waiting for it all to blow over. What's this? The galley. The galley is the kitchen, correct? Yes! Lovely. I'm up on my um my ship terms. That's so cool. I think that... That engine is such an interesting idea. The whole ship tilts and it's constantly tilting. And there's more of, you know, there's more of the animation they have to make for each of the characters. Whoa! <laughs> Very good. Jeez, they're catching me out. They're catching me rotten big time with all these jump scares. Just not able for it. Right, we'll keep going. More rooms. Ah, we're on the other side of the too hot to handle area. Front deck, bridge, and the radio room. Cool. And what's in here? 
So is that the door that I attempted to go in earlier that was locked from the other side? I will try in a second. I'm going to use this sprinkler first to get that. Whoa! Oh, that poor man. He just burned himself alive. But he's holding a machine gun. Do I get that machine gun now? Ah, Tom, come on, like. Pick up the machine gun, right? One of my objectives is to go front deck. So I'm going to go out to the front deck. Because I'm looking for a radio code. Whoa! Lads, lads, lads. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. So this is a different deck, it's actually not the same deck at all. Some ammo and a note about barrels. <laughs> I don't think I need to read that note about barrels. I think we know how barrels work in video games, yes? <laughs> right. Oh, there's nice creepy sounds there. When am I going to be fighting my first exocell or my parasitic enemy? must be downstairs I suppose I suppose it must be no luck nothing on that man either even another dead body here oh right okay yes there's our first explosive barrel kill downstairs Hansen said he's a handsome man Hansen but those explosive barrels definitely make the human enemies a good bit easier to kill. I've always liked uh, ship settings in games and I actually don't think that enough games uh, enough games have ship settings to be honest. The only few I can think off the top of my head are Tomb Raider 2 has that ship this has a ship Resident Evil Revelations which came out after this has a ship there's a few others like there's ones where you're on yachts and boats. The Tomb Raider series has had a good relation with good relationship with boats and games. Oh. Three shots over a human. And he got it all in the family jewels, the poor man. What was he hiding from? The world. Right, there's a health pack in there that I don't need, so I'm not I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna try to remember that in my brain. That there is a medical kit on the front deck through the double doors. You can help me remember that anyway. Leave it in the comments. I kind of like the idea as well that obviously while some of the areas are locked off in the boat, quite free roaming in terms of the boat is, it looks like the wrong way. The storeroom. Well, we're going to go into the storeroom anyway. You know, it looks like the wrong way. What do you want? But I just want to go into the storeroom. Allow me to go into a storeroom. Like There might be things we need in the storeroom. Such as that, whatever it is, I'm going to go over and check in a minute. A note about fire extinguishers. Can they be used to put out fires, I wonder? <laughs> okay, so they just work the exact same way as explosive barrels, I would imagine. Is this joining up so back to the area that I think it is? Yes! Excellent. Okay. Uh, but I opened it, I used it! Oh! Ah, oh, right, okay, so I'm gonna have to... Now, I don't know, I don't think that was such a good idea by them. To, um, to not allow me access back through that door, like, to have to come all the way back around. Right, so, note to self, don't go through the storeroom door back to the rear deck until you're absolutely positive you have to. Where's this? The dormitory. So some men obviously stay in here. We might have more human enemies to kill. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, why did I use that? Damn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I like the way the shaking of the boat makes the bodies move so you think they're alive. Like, that guy moved. <laughs> Wouldn't you think that Hansen here now would be a little worried? Like, that guy, you know, growled at me. <laughs> that guy's alive, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, okay. Dr. Kamsky's diary. We have deliberately infected and observed over 300 subjects. That was a bad idea. Including dogs, apes, orcas and humans. So we're actually going to get a load of different versions of this exocell. Mm. Any individual infected by an exocell should thus be given an antidote as quick as possible. If no antidote is available, the host's brain must be destroyed. So, does that mean I can be infected and I'm going to need an antidote? 
Does that mean that I have to go around shooting brains off guys' heads? So, like, I'm going to try it here with this fine individual here. Shoot him in the brain, like. He's moving his mouth, like. Note to self. You kill a man, shoot his brain off. Running out of ammo here, though. Who's this now? Oh, this is our man with the radio, I assume. I'm going to shoot this guy also in the brain, as I don't want him to come alive. Lansing? Is this, was this one of our friends? Oh, he does certainly look like one of our friends. Oh, he was one of the guys to first go in, I believe, in that opening video, and that's where the distress call came from. He's the on the code. Right, his head came off, so... I have to deal with that. What's that? I shot off all their heads. Where'd he come from? There's a few. Help me. Who's saying help me? The guy probably with the legs. Whoa! They're fast! Wasn't expecting that. Some pistol ammo from Lansing. Jeez, he had a bad, uh, fairly bad bowel movement there. I'd get that checked out if I was you, Lansing. Help me! Help me, Anakin! Help me! Okay, that's how I batter people with my my arm. I press E. Okay, learning new things. Yes, of course, I want to save. Absolutely. Okay, so the save just pops up at kind of. Checkpoints. Right, we'll leave him shoot with us there, and then we'll we can get rid of him after, or else one of the zombies can sort him out. Those heads need to come off. Those heads definitely need to come off. Running out of ammo pretty quick as well. Right, I have a feeling that ammo is ammo conservation is going to be a tough ditty in this particular game, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! There you go, so that's an example of uh, how the ship's tilting is actually fairly badly affecting me being able to walk. That's quite cool. I quite like that. I'll be honest. Good thing he didn't fall off though, as I didn't particularly want to have to deal with those Fine gentlemen again. <laughs> Jesus. Any individual you kill, remove their heads. Oh, that was that was actually a guy. Jesus, they're sending some amount of them a after me. I suppose they're worth 300. Right, I'm going to try to make it to the next save point. Because I... I am not going to waste any more ammo. Up to the radio room. I'm going to have my gun out though. Right, okay, what do we have? What's this? Upper deck. Radio room. Should we go into the radio room? Didn't we pick up a key off Lansing? What's the objective? I have to find an E key to access the car at walk. Radio room must be near the crew quarters. Okay, yeah, well, like, I searched for a key, but I was unlucky. I suppose there's probably doors I haven't been in yet. Back downstairs. Yeah, I didn't go into the showers, so I'm going to take a quick look in the showers soon. The save game situation is a bit strange. Like, I understand it makes it a little harder that you can't save at every single point that you want, but I think that the decision they made to have it at just certain points in the game... Like, well, if you die, you're all the way back to the last save. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, like... 
kind of cutscene. What the hell is what? Oh, well. Hmm. Which door do you think somebody's going to pop out of? I'll shoot all these guys' brains. Oh, it was a human. But yeah, I'm under the impression that they're, they've all been um, bought with the parasitic thing, so... Oh, the mirrors work. Do you know, that's not a thing that you see very often in games. Even today, games still uh, don't put mirrors in games. So I, I must say, I'm always very impressed when they decide to put them into games. So fair play to Darkworks for putting a working mirror in Cold Fear. I re I believe as well that it, the game was criticised for not having a map system within the game. And I can kind of see why that would be a bit annoying. I'm going to find the handle. Okay. Little cutscene there. The man going into this room. Have I been in here? I haven't, and there's some stuff that I require. Right, so I got a handle. Fish hold door. Oh, where was the fish hold? Where was the fish hold? It was downstairs. Okay. Right, to the fish hold as quick as possible. To the fish hold! There's a sentence that I never thought I'd be saying in my entire life. Whoa! Hello there, James! Jesus, there's loads of them! Right, one down. Okay, right, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna get that health kit, because now I need a bit of health. Right, that health pack feels good, I'm sure it does, Hanson. To the fish hold! Oh, I'm gonna get some ammo, actually, when I'm passing. I like that, I suppose there'll probably be a lot of backtracking and forward in the ship you know once you get keys and stuff but uh yeah I quite like that now that the ammo the ammo is going to always be there and I imagine it's going to be ammo for all the weapons as well and you can just pick some up while you're passing it's very nice chances of there being a bad guy down here well that guy was shoot his head as well everybody I'm telling you just everybody I see Whoa, there's a guy right behind me. <laughs> right. So, there we go. Cold fear. We've begun. We've begun. We've begun. I'm going to save it here and I'm going to leave it, ladies and gents. I'm going to leave you with it. Who knows what's in the fish hold? We'll find out next time. Yeah.